Computers can offer advancement to shape the educational experience, but the struggle of finding the balance of technology in the classroom is becoming difficult. Many students believe having their laptop is beneficial, while some professors prefer they keep them closed. In 2014, it's important to, to understand that all of the technology that is available and it's everywhere is, is sort of harnessed and used effectively in the classroom. So laptops, whether or not they're effective, really depends on the structure of the class. Laptops are effective when they're used as a tool to engage students, but they have to be used in a very targeted engagement strategy, or else students will use them for other means. If a laptop is open in class, it presents a temptation to check social media, emails, and other non-classroom related material. I think that there's some classes that, uh, that where you don't really need your phone or computer out at all. Um, there can be lecture classes where you just, you don't need it at all. Um, but the thing is, I think that it's very unrealistic to assume as a professor that a student doesn't have their technology within arm's reach. Studies indicate that students on different technologies during class impairs learning. If they are multitasking, then they are no longer paying attention to what is happening. I used to choose to use my laptop, but now I stick to handwriting my notes because I've realized how distracted I used to get using my laptop, then I never really actually knew what was going on in the class. But students aren't the only ones looking for a distraction. If you attend faculty meetings, faculty do the same thing. When they're not engaged and they're on their laptops, they're checking their Facebook or checking their Instagram or, or their email, the same way students are. It's because it's not about a student-faculty thing, it's not about um, the technology itself, it's the engagement between the individual who's trying to talk about something and the student. Um, that isn't to say that you know they're not going to stop and, and check something on their phone or they're not going to you know supposed to be on WordPress and jump over to Instagram or something. I know that happens. I mean when I'm in meetings I do it sometimes. I'm not going to lie about that. But the thing is there's got to be a level of courtesy. This change in the learning style presents the argument of handwritten notes versus typing notes that suggested that handwriting notes is more effective than laptops. Now that study has caused all kinds of faculty to say, well, see, that's why I want to get, but I believe that it's not about the handwriting or the typing, it's about the, construct, the construction of what you're putting down. Professors suggest that students should show respect when using their laptops if they want to keep their technology privilege. I'm here and I'm trying to teach you something and I don't want to stand up there for two hours and waste my time, and I sure as heck don't want to waste your time. So, you know, I just expect a little courtesy back. Or if you use it as a tool, if you use it as a way to enhance learning, then there's nothing bad about it. I'm Stephanie Fasano, Q30 News. Game, sorry. We've all seen that before. But